Target acquired. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So I recently put out a video called how to dual boot Steam OS and Windows on the internal SSD, which was an update to our previous video incorporating all of the things that we had learned since the last SSD dual boot video. And in that video, we went over everything how to partition the drive, how to install Windows, how to optimize Windows for better performance, how to set up handheld companion for controller support and TDP controls, and even how to set up a dual boot options menu using Clover. Now, I know a lot of you already know how to dual boot and may already have one set up. So I wanted to take bits and pieces from that video and make separate videos covering specific topics. For example, Maybe all you want to know is how to set up the dual boot menu at startup. So this is that video. Once again, shout out to Ryan Rudolph, the one who created the script that we will be using to install the boot menu. He actually contacted me and shared with me a few things. First, I credited him with the creation of the entire software that we will be using. And he let me know that he is actually only the author of the installation script. Second, at the end of the video, when demonstrating how it works, I showed that when booting into Windows, there were lines that would appear on the screen. He showed me how to fix that issue. Third, he is working on a similar script for Hollow ISO and Chimera OS. So those who own other handhelds and want to have a SteamOS Windows dual boot might be able to use this as well. That's a work in progress. And as soon as that is up and running, I will be testing it out on my IA Neo, which I am currently running in a dual boot configuration with Windows and SteamOS in the form of Chimera OS. And before we dive in, if you guys enjoy this type of content or find it helpful and would like to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing as well so that you do not miss out on future content like this. We cover tips, tricks, and gameplay performance for the Steam Deck as well as other handhelds such as the Aya Neo and the soon to be released ROG Ally. You definitely do not want to miss out on any of it. And without any further ado, let's get this all set up. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is switch over to the SteamOS desktop mode. Once we're in desktop mode, we'll go into our application launcher, go to system and then click on console. Now, if you have not already set up a password for SteamOS, we'll do that now. In console, we will type P-A-S-S-W-D and then press enter. It will then prompt you to type in a password. We will need to enter the password again to confirm. Next, we will need to set up a pseudo password. A pseudo password is required whenever we want to perform actions that require administrator level permissions in Linux. We will set this up by typing sudo followed by a space and then P-A-S-S-W-D and then press enter. It will then ask you to enter the password you just set up a minute ago. Next, enter the password you have chosen to be your sudo password. Re-enter your sudo password to confirm. We now have a password and a pseudo password set up and can proceed with the installation. Next, we're going to enter the following command to download the script from GitHub and then press enter. Remember that everything is case sensitive, so type it exactly as you see it here. We will also include this in the description so you can copy and paste it instead. Next, we are going to use the following command to change directories to the location where the app was downloaded and then press enter. After that, we're going to enter the following command to make the install file executable and then press enter. And lastly, we will enter the following command to execute the install script and then press enter. It will then prompt you for your sudo password, enter it and then press enter. Afterwards, it will give you the option to select the default OS to boot into if nothing is selected after the 15 second timer at startup. We chose Steam OS as our default OS. After this, you should see a bunch of text appear on the screen showing the install process. Once it is finished, it will show a window with instructions on how to disable or uninstall Clover should you so choose. Clover will also be added to Steam as a non-Steam game so that you can check its status. And that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is reboot the system to see it in action. All right, so here we are booting up our Steam Deck and this is the Clover boot menu. 
So first we'll go ahead and boot into Steam OS and this may take about a minute or so. All right, and here we are, we are in Steam OS, and now we'll go ahead and shut it back down again. And this time we're going to reboot into Windows. Now, here's where we ran into the issue of the lines on the screen while booting into Windows. The fix for this is actually quite simple. Once we boot into Windows, we will click on the start menu, type CMD, right click on CMD, and then choose to run as administrator. We will then paste the following command, which can be found in the description of this video. We can now restart the Steam Deck, and we will choose Windows at the boot menu screen. As you can see, we no longer have lines across the screen. And that's really all there is to it. The simplest way to set up a doable menu at startup. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful and want to support the channel, be sure to hit that like button followed by that subscribe button with bell notifications turned on so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. We got a lot more coming, especially with the ROG ally on the way you can expect the same kind of content for the ally as well. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Target acquired.